and I want to show you the truth about beekeeping and I don't want you, you know to be fake about it so here's all of my dead bees dead bees oh so sad so sad Okay, so it is a warm day in January. It's 59 degrees right now. And the bees are buzzing in most of my hives. This is the craziest they've been in probably two months. That hive I know I don't have to check on because it is super, super active. My bees are alive. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Let's look at these other two really active hives. Super, super active. I know they are buzzing, they're doing great. This hive, which is a little bit harder to see in the shade. So these three hives are super, super active. There's no reason for me to open those boxes at all, except for opening the lid real quick and I'll add a little more bee candy. Um, but then I look at these other two hives. These two hives, there is activity, the hive on the right there, um, you can see the bees flying in and out. Um, there is some activity and I believe that was my swarm hive, which was a small hive um, to begin with going into winter. Um, but I don't see any activity at all with this hive in the middle. So this is the hive I'm going to be concerned about the most. And this is the hive I'm going to open up first to see if they are active or not. Uh, there are some bees flying around, but those are just as likely to be just the neighboring bees. But I'm hoping maybe this hive is gonna surprise me. But I definitely right now have three super active, healthy hives. And another hive is doing okay, it looks like. And then I'm really worried about this hive right here. So this is the hive we're gonna take a look at. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Whistle Ticket. Tom here, we're in the bee yard and we're talking about when should you open your hive in the winter time? So first of all, yes, all beekeeping is local. Some places have such a harsh winter, you are almost never going to open up your hive except to maybe add more bee candy. And then there's other places that don't even have a winter, like Southern Georgia, Florida, Texas, California. A lot of those places don't really have a winter. But where I live in the mountains of North Carolina, um, even though it's North Carolina, I'm at about 3,000 feet. And a lot of my beekeeping is more similar to how someone might beekeep in, you know, Pennsylvania, maybe New York State. So we have a winter. Um, most days the last month it's been freezing at night but today is a really warm day it, it hits 60 degrees and tomorrow's going to be in the 50s so this is a great day for me to look at my bees because i always look at the weather the next day and then what's coming up it's going to be nice tomorrow but then for the next two weeks the high is only in like 44 degrees and then it'll be freezing at night again so this is a great chance for me to open up my hives, but I only open my hives when one thing happens. And that's when my bees are already active. If my bees are flying outside, which they were this morning, it's, it's a little bit later today. It's about 3.30. I wish I could have opened them up around one o'clock, but I had to work. So I'm opening them up when I can. But if my bees are out and they're doing cleansing flights and they're really active, they were super, super active. In a minute, I'm gonna show you um, how active they were. That's when I open my hives because they've already broken cluster. I don't want to break my, my um, winter cluster unless I have to. So I had five, or I have five hives, 
and they were all really really active except for one hive um, that's the hive I'm going to open up because since all the other hives were really really active and that one hive I saw close to zero activity that tells me that something's wrong with that hive um, so the other hives I may open up but I only open up a hive when I have a plan I have some bee candy here it has been several weeks since I gave them bee candy so if I open up a hive I'm not going to actually open up the uh, the um, brood box and that first honey super because I don't want to break the um, propolis that the bees have worked hard to secure those boxes together I'm only gonna do that when winter's over I'm trying my best not to open up my hives this year yes I see my bees when I give them bee candy but again there's nothing you can do if your bees die in December they're going to be dead in January they're gonna be dead in February if your queen dies most places you can't get a new queen um, you can't start raising queens in the winter usually um, so there's really nothing you can do um, but I'm gonna give my bees some bee candy and I'm gonna try to look at that one hive and see if we see any activity. So like I said, if I'm opening my hives in the winter, I always have my plan figured out. I'm not going to check to see if they need bee candy and then go get it or make it and come back um, a day or two later. I'm gonna have what I need. So again, I have enough bee candy for another round for my bees. And I also keep records with the ultimate beekeeper's logbook, the author. He's amazing, it's me, he's a nice guy. Um, this is available on Amazon, shameless plug people. It's really affordable and it's a great way to keep track of your bee activity. This has helped me become a better beekeeper. I try to look for a good log book. I couldn't find one, so guess what? After I was beekeeping for a while, I went and made one. And this has really helped me and lots of other people uh, available on Amazon, check it out. So we are going to, um, open up this hive because this is the hive that had basically zero activity it's still warm out it's still probably 58 degrees um, normally I'd be in a t-shirt if I wasn't beekeeping but I'm not one of those guys that likes to wear short sleeves when I beekeep I don't want to get stung people um, so let's open up this hive and see if we can see if this hive survived the winter or not I lost my first hive, it's pretty obvious, huh? Um, my first winter hive. Yes, I have bees, but uh, they died, people. They died. I got excited for half a second. I was like, that's a good cluster of bees. But uh, it is not a good cluster. There's, it's a decent cluster. Um, and unfortunately, they all died. This is my first hive that I lost this winter. I got four hives that are looking great, but this baby uh, just did not uh, make it. Let's investigate, let's investigate. Though I'm a science teacher, I always like to investigate and figure out what might have happened. So they had plenty of sugar cakes and this cluster is not that big. It's not amazing. Um, I know it got cold. So it may have just been. That and moisture maybe. Not a lot of honey stores. They, I just taking my time here to show you because I want you to see this as well. So on this frame, I'm starting to get a few.
few bees showing up. Dead bees, dead bees. Doesn't look like they had a lot of honey in this hive. They may have been getting robbed out. This was my smallest hive, but I was hoping. Sometimes when they move, you're like, oh, maybe they'll survive. More dead bees, people. Dead bees. Okay, so again, this hive was not teeny tiny. And I did treat for mites twice and this uh, summer and early fall. I don't know, I think maybe this hive might have uh, starved itself out because it ate all of its honey stores. And again, I had a full uh, super of bees or a full super of honey for the winter and then they're deep. Um, just check out these bees though. All dead bees. The good news is my other four hives are alive and well. I just didn't think this hive was going to be the one. Um, I thought this was my swarm hive and it isn't. This was a, a split I made. And this was a decent hive. Um, I'm kind of bummed, but what can you do? Um, there's a, about another month of winter or so where I live. So I really uh, still got a ways to go for my bees to survive. But it looks like they didn't really have a lot of honey stores, unfortunately. Uh, they must have ate all their honey. So unfortunately I lost my first hive. I had five hives going into winter. Now I'm down to four, that's okay. Uh, if 80% can survive, that's a good thing. Uh, this hive just didn't have any honey. I haven't looked in the bottom yet. Um, they had bee candy. Again, they could have had mites as well, but I treated twice. Um, I'm gonna treat these, or I'm gonna test these dead mites or these dead bees for mites and see if I can figure it out. Um, it's just how it happens sometimes. Sometimes your hives make it, sometimes they don't. I'm still hopeful that my other four are going to make it. I'm gonna do a quick check on those and uh, hopefully next time they'll be alive the next time I check on them. Like I said, we got a month or so until winter's over, maybe a month and a half. I'm definitely bummed about this hive. Uh, but you know, it's like beekeeping is a science, an art, and a little bit of luck. And most beekeepers lose a hive over winter, or I've had friends that had 10 or 12 hives, lost them all from mites. Uh, so it's like, you know, I'm never gonna stop learning. I'm always going to keep going. And I'm bummed about this hive because it actually wasn't that small. Um, but I'm not a quitter, people, so. If you hear from a beekeeper and they never lose a winter hive, they probably either don't have a winter or uh, they're lying because everybody loses hives every now and then. And I wanna show you the truth about beekeeping and I don't want you, you know, to be fake about it. So here's all of my dead bees. Dead bees. Oh. So sad, so sad. I guess it could be a good protein source or something. I guess I could feed them to the chickens maybe. Okay, um, I'm gonna check on my other hives. Four more hives, hopefully they survive uh, the next month. Let's check them out. Okay, so here's a solid hive here. They're eating that bee candy. I'm 
going to give them another piece because it's a warm day. And again, it's kind of hard to film. But I'm trying my best here. Guess I could get my tripod over here, but I don't have it. Okay, so I'm going to put this bee candy right here. Kind of give them more options. This hive is doing good. Close her down. So four of my five hives are still doing well. Um, again, I don't open my hives in the winter time unless I need to. Um, they still gotta make it another month and a half. So right now I got 80% of my bees have survived, but it's not even February and it looks like February is gonna be cold. So I, so honestly, I'm hoping that three out of five hives make it. If three out of five hives make it, I'll be happy. Uh, I'm hoping not to buy bees this year. Um, if I do, I never buy more than two packages a year. Um, I want to make a little money beekeeping and buying packages adds up, you know, 130 bucks every bee package. Uh, so I'm hoping for the best. Still got another month to get through this winter. Uh, but every year I'm learning and I'm really, really hoping that the rest of my hives make it. Uh, thanks for joining us. I just want to share the reality of winter beekeeping with you.